everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kirsten Morbido. Hi, and today I'm going to be doing a huge Shop Miss A haul try on first impressions the whole nine yards. I did this before on my channel and it was such a blast. And I still use some of the products that I tried on a couple months ago. And some of those items were like hidden gems, while others were as to be expected. If you don't know what Shop Miss A is, it's a website that has very cheap, inexpensive makeup. It's all around the dollar price point range. They have a ton of stuff, not even makeup. They have accessories, hair stuff, um, skin care, body care. So it's like a really fun, you can't even see me with these glasses. I'm sorry, I have no makeup on. It's just super fun to go on the website and order a bunch of stuff and you have no idea if it's going to be good or bad, but I love doing it. So I got my package. Um, don't worry, it's disinfected. I have been waiting for this, I want to say three weeks. I know with COVID, like there's delays in shipping and all that, so I'm not mad, but I've been waiting three weeks to get it. I honestly have no idea what is in here. I cannot remember. So this is going to be a really fun little unboxing to see what I got and then I'll go ahead and try all the products on and do a full face of makeup. So if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. Right. Cute little packaging. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of stuff. The first thing I see, oh, was dry shampoo. It's this AOA Studio um, Fresh Dry Shampoo for $1.55 it says. So I definitely will be trying this out because she needs some help. Um, oh, this cute little beauty blender holder. It's like this rose gold little cube thing. I always wanted one of these, so this is a dollar eighty-eight. Um, looks like two brushes. Oh, ooh, this is the high definition brush. <gasps> ooh, that's nice. I have tried their brushes before, and I've I love them. So this one I think is for a highlight. And it feels really nice. And then this one, ooh, is for foundation. Okay, we have the primer spray, A plus primer spray. Oh, another primer. This is a minimizing pore primer. Eyelash curler, because I actually really do need a new eyelash curler, so cool. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh my gosh. This really pretty blush. I love pink blushes. That looks gorgeous. It's got like some sparkle flex to it, so that looks promising. Ooh, this is a nice little pink eyeshadow. Oops, I don't know. Um, like pinkish and orangey eyeshadow kit. This is a little, um, I got like an angled brush for eyebrows I wanna remember. What did I get? Oh, gold hydrogel under eye pads? I don't remember buying that. Oh, lashes. Oh, these look nice, actually. These are the Natural Luxurious 3D Foam Ink Lashes. Wow, those look pretty nice. This is the A-plus Mochi Wonder Blender, but I have tried their blenders before, and I love their blenders. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. I feel like I'm rushing through this. I'm sorry. I've just never done a little unboxing. I'm like rushing. Okay, I have tried these highlighters and I love them. This is the, um, they're like a velour shadow or this velour highlighter and it's so, so pretty. I haven't tried this shade, so we'll try that. This is a, oh, this is going to be too light. Uh-oh. Well, this is the foundation I got. It's a full covered foundation. Um but it looks way too light because I self-tanned. Uh -oh. oh, another cream highlighter. What the heck? I don't remember putting this one in either. So I got two highlighters. Okay. Oh, I got some jewelry. I forgot I got jewelry. So I got like, um, this is like a choker necklace, but it's kind of all um, like tangled up. So hopefully I can get that tangle out. That's not good. And I got these little hoops, dangle hoops, and those look really cute. Mm -hmm. LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. What is that? That's really pink. A pink lipstick. A brow pomade. Then a translucent powder. So 
We have a lot here. I'm sorry if that was really annoying, but I, but I wanted to get through everything. Okay, so I guess we're gonna try everything out. I'm so sad that this is gonna be way, way too light for my skin. I'm gonna have to add in my own or something. I don't know. Um, but okay, we're gonna go ahead and dive in and do a makeup look with everything. So let me zoom you in is all. Okay, so I zoomed you in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair back. Okay, so starting off with the primer. I have a primer spray, so let's open her up. This is the A Plus Primer Spray. And paraben free, absorbs oil and minimizes pores. Oh. oh, I love that, that um, feeling. Um, I am going to go ahead in with that minimizing pore primer um, and put that in my T-zone to hopefully fill in pores. So let's see what the consistency of this is. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, what is that? That was really good. All right, let's fill in her pore. I can't really tell the consistency of this. I've never tried anything with this consistency. I don't know what this is. Like, it's very silky, almost like velour-like. Okay, let's see if this filled in my pores. Not really. <laughs> We're being honest. I don't see a huge difference of my pores, but maybe with makeup on, it might be different. So we shall see. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the foundation. I just realized, oh, that makes me, reminds me, they did not have literally any concealer possible to buy in my shade. Like, not one. I looked at every single brand of concealers that they had, and there was not one that was going to work for me. So, um, oh well. Okay, so here's a, oh, it's so light. It's so, so, so light. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use one side with the sponge and the other side with the brush. Okay, so I wet the sponge, and I'm telling you, these sponges are the best sponges. They're $1.55, and they're so, so soft. Like, oh, I love them. I love them, love them. If you buy anything, I said this in my last video, if you buy anything, you need to just bulk order these sponges. So, okay, so this is the AOA Studio Pro Wear Full Coverage Foundation, and, oh, I wish it was on my shade. It's so light. Ugh. That makes me really, really mad, but we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, you see how light that is? It looks like this could be my, con oh, I guess I could use it for concealer. Let me just blend it out and then um, see about, like, the coverage. Oh, my gosh, it's so light. Oh, my, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Crap. I know I look crazy. I know I look crazy. I'm just trying to look at the finish of... The foundation you know what this is actually looking horrible so hold on let me take the brush Ooh. okay so I'm kind of glad I did not do that to my whole face because it just it, I don't know if it's even showing but it looks so streaky and like it reminds me of like dollar store foundation okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and then just go ahead and apply like my normal foundation and then I will come back Okay, you guys, so I just applied my normal foundation. Um, I tried putting it on with the foundation brush, and this is not it. It left it very streaky. Um, so I just went in with the Beauty Blender to blend it out, and now it's looking really good. And I just used the um, L'Oreal Infallible. And so, yeah, that's that. Um, oh, I probably should go ahead and do some concealer. You know what? This is a... This is a concealer shade, and I don't have a concealer, so maybe I will try using this as a concealer. Let's see. Let's see if it does it. Hmm. Well, that actually worked. <laughs> it actually kind of worked 
as a um, concealer because it is a full coverage foundation um, and it actually has a really pretty like sheen to it so I am not hating that one bit actually wow that looks really pretty oh my gosh cool okay so we're gonna go ahead and set that and I have the translucent powder here Wow, that looks good. Hmm, okay. Okay, then I'm just gonna, I don't have a face powder, so I'm just gonna kind of, I don't know, tap around <laughs> with it lightly. Um, I'm not a big face powder person in general, but we're just gonna tap around a little bit and add her. Now she's nice and matte, and it is looking really nice. Hmm, okay, all right. I don't have a bronzer for them um, because I have ordered from Shop Miss A twice and every time I've ordered a bronzer they always have sucked like horribly. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my bronzer and I use the True Match Lumi. And we're just going to go ahead, I'm not going to contour or anything, I'm just going to quickly bronze up my face because even my foundation shade is like just a tad bit light with my self tanner. So. Okay, so bronzer is on, and you guys, the more I'm looking at this up close, that foundation used as a concealer is so nice. I think it just didn't work on my face because of how light it was, and that just made me nervous, so I just kind of quickly did it. But as a concealer, it looks super good, so I'm happy with that. So now we're going to go in with that blush. So this is Malibu Glitz in Pink Coral, and it looks so beautiful. I'm so excited to try this. I am such a blush girl, so I'm hoping this looks good. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is very pretty. It has like a really nice luminous um, finish to it. It's not super pigmented, I'm noticing, so I'm really getting in there now to get some. Oh, yeah. Oh, there. Oh, that's so pretty. I kind of go crazy with blush, but I blend it all out after, so it'll be fine. Oh my gosh, I love this. It is so beautiful. If you like shimmery blushes, this is for you. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Super happy with this. Woohoo! Okay. Now highlight, everyone's favorite part. I have two here. I have tried these before. I know for sure I love them. So I have never tried this dewy cream highlight in the shade Silk. Let me feel it. Ooh, that is creamy. Let's see if we can do a swatch test here. Not like blinding or anything. And it's very goldy. Let me try this other one. This is the velour highlight. And let's go ahead and put her... Oh, oh my gosh. It's like the jelly. Wow, okay. And let's go ahead and put her next to her. Oh yeah, that's much uh, more blinding. So we're going to go with her. Okay, I guess you can mix them. Maybe we'll mix them. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead with that sponge. I'm going to start with this one. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, 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 retreat. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a little light. <gasps> wow, that's a lot. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, hold on. Wow. <laughs> that was a lot. Wow. Pretty, pretty, pretty though. Wow, that was just a lot. I do think it's a little light. Wow, that is really nice. Very pretty. I'm going to take a little bit of that gold and put it on top because I do feel with um, my tan that it's like too much of a contrast. I feel like if I add some gold to it, it'll um, help darken it up a little bit. That is 
so pretty oh my gosh i love that gold mix with it Ooh. oh my gosh let's just put it everywhere <laughs> oh my gosh it's so pretty okay our skin is looking really dewy glowy mm, i'm happy i am a happy gal those are very very pretty um especially combined wow that's a nice shade together oh let's go ahead and do brows okay so i wish this brush was a little like stiffer okay this is the aoa studio wonder brow tinted brow pomade in the shade taupe let's see oh that's actually a really nice taupe shade hmm. all right i'm just gonna brush out my brows they need to be trimmed and plucked and all that jazz so don't judge my brows <laughs> it feels a little tough like hmm i don't i don't know how if i feel like i'm not getting any product <sighs> maybe i am i don't know Okay, so brow number one is on, and I'm going to be honest, I actually really like this product. It's, at first I thought it was like really hard to like work with because it was not getting a lot of product, but I like that. The product is a very like waxy formula, so there's not a lot coming off on the brush, but that's good because then you're not having like an excess amount of product. Um, and I felt like it was really nice to work with. Now, this shade is a little bit lighter than what I'm used to doing for my brows, but I don't mind it. It's like kind of like a natural looking brow. So this brush is terrible. It's way too flimsy. Um, an eyebrow brush should be very stiff so it's not moving. Um, so brush is terrible. Product, very impressed with. So I really like the brow product. I just finished brow number two and I am loving that brow pomade. Oh my gosh, I really love it. So another good find things are going good for us right now okay moving on now to eyes i have that eyeshadow palette i'm gonna go ahead and grab a transitional just taupe color to kind of like throw it on first um and i'm gonna use it with one of my favorite blending brushes and it's actually from shop miss a and i've had this for a year or so and it's the aoa studio 6141 and it's just a fluffy brush and i use it every day i love it so we're just gonna throw down a nice taupey color and I think I'm going to go in with, I mean, y'all knew I was going to pick that one. <laughs> you knew it. Oh, it feels really nice. Oh my gosh. It feels like a wet feeling like that. Hmm, that's nice. Oh, wow. That's pretty. <gasps> that's really nice. Wow. Hmm. That is nice and pretty. Very pigmented. The uh, shimmer is really nice in it. Hmm. I'm impressed. Okay, so next we're to do liner and lashes, and we're done. You can sit on the bed, okay, but no noise, all right? Okay, Lucy's joining us. Lucy, say hi. You're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to try out this lash curler here. Lash. lash curler, it curls your lashes. Oh, but I don't have any money to do that. <laughs> you don't have any money? No, I don't have any. Oh, that's nice. Wow, oh, that worked I good. Have you do have money in your piggy bank. Okay, play your tablet, okay? That looks nice. Did I not get a mascara? Okay, so I'm just going to throw on a little bit of mascara. And this one is one of my favorites. It's not Shot Masse, but it's um, from the brand Pharmacy. My mom sells it, and it's the Zen Mascara. Oh, and I love it. Lucy, turn it down, honey, okay? All right, so this is the LA Colors Ultimate Liquid Eyeliner, and I don't even know, like, the applicator. What? Wait a minute. 
is it broke and it's completely dry so great this is broken um <laughs> wonderful awesome okay I'm gonna go ahead and just throw on some of my own liner okay so I just applied my own liner and I'm gonna open up these lashes and these are in the shade Christine or not shade but the style Christine and I have been wearing magnetic lashes and if you didn't see my magnetic lashes video um I'll go ahead and link it up here and watch that so I have not done like strip lashes with glue in a while so we shall see but these ones are very pretty they're i don't i wish you could see more but they're super wispy and beautiful and they feel really nice um they don't seem very cheap so while i'm waiting for my liner to dry let's go ahead and try on that dry shampoo okay oof let me just oh let me smell smell it i can't smell it why can't you smell it? Oh, okay. It it has a little bit of a hairspray scent, but um, that's intense. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hmm. Feels good. I don't really know. <laughs> I already have dry shampoo in it, so probably wasn't the best to um test it but I mean it doesn't feel you know how sometimes dry shampoos feel like kind of nasty in your hair it feels pretty good hmm. I like how bam it was hmm. okay all right let's try her out Okay, so here is the one lash, and I love these. And what I love about them is they're really long and curly, but they're thin, so they're like just very lightweight and wispy. Um, very beautiful, very, very beautiful. So I'm excited about these ones. Okay, so both lashes are on. I am loving the way they look. Very excited about this. Even though I love my magnetic lashes, these I feel like look a little bit more natural and... I don't know more real but I love love this style of them and again they're in the style Christine and I want to say they're a dollar fifty five so so cheap okay last thing is lips and I am not applying that pink lipstick that is way too too much for me I will apply this pink gloss and, all right so this is the AOA studio lip pop in the shade ladylike and it's just a really pretty almost like watermelon like color and let's see if there's any pigment. Oh, it's a wand. Okay. Let me get my lip my mirror out so I can see up close. Thank you, Lucy. Okay, so there is not much pigment, and I don't feel like a lot of product comes out on the wand, so I just re-dipped. I'm going to try again to double it up. This color is really pretty, though. Yes. I like that color. I like that color. You like this color? Mm -hmm. I'll put some on you after, okay? Okay, Mom. Okay. Okay, so it feels very comfortable. It's not a super glossy lip gloss. It almost reminds me of like a liquid lipstick that's supposed to be on the glossier side. I know Wet n Wild has one of those, um, I think. And it's just a very comfortable wear. It's very moisturizing. It has like a little bit of a sheen to it. I love the color. I think it's a very beautiful kind of corally pink. If you are not into super glossy lip glosses, this is like a winner. I actually really, really like it. So what in the world we had a lot of good things oh my goodness these earrings are so 
cute it's a pack of three for i think a dollar and they're just like a little bit of a hoop and then there's like a dangly thing at the end of them and i love them i'm gonna try one on those are so cute oh my gosh i love that that is a really cute earring you like them too? I know. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Okay, and here is the final look. I love it. I think it's so pretty. Very fresh looking. Um, really happy with the way everything worked out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my absolute favorites that I really am impressed with. And first and foremost, the pomade. I really love the way that this worked, glided on, um, the pigment, the waxiness. I really, really love this. So that was a hit. The highlighters are so beautiful and blinding um these two shades i really liked and again it was in the shade silk and sometimes and of course i'll have everything linked down below if you want to go ahead and shop um so those are awesome really love the lashes i think that is such a steal for a dollar 55 so good this blush is stunning that is such a pretty blush shade for summer it just looks really beautiful on the skin lucy sh sh it looks really beautiful on the skin very impressed with this product so yeah i hope you guys liked it give it a thumbs up if you did comment down below have you tried chat miss a are you gonna try subscribe hold on okay tell them wait hold on wait 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 go ahead don't forget to subscribe <laughs> comment down below what you guys want to try out or if you've already tried out these products i would love to know and i'll see you guys in my next video bye we've been walking down this road sometimes and you love and you love me good no lie